what is generative ai rag and agentic ai hello everyone i'm naval yamul welcome back to my youtube channel data master today we are diving into some fascinating ai concepts like generative ai rag and agentic ai these technologies are reshaping the way we interact with ai let's break down in simple terms so before we begin i wish you all a happy new year 2025 if you are someone looking to start a career in generative ai or you are a professional who want to upskill in the generative ai this channel will help you a lot so first we are going to see what is generative ai so generative ai to put simply it's a generative ai refers to an ai system that creates a new content so the great example is your chat gpt there are many many other gpt models you can consider like uh, microsoft has a copilot google has a google bard gemini ai and so on so you get an interface where you write a prompt where you simply write a question it's called as a prompt and that generative ai model tries to generate an output it can generate in the form of text audio video and much more code and so on for instance it can help you to write an email write an essay create a music create an images or even it can create a videos also if you want to know more about the basics of the ai generative ai so i have already made a dedicated video on this topic you can check it out by clicking on the i button above so we'll proceed further and try to understand what is rag so rag stands for retrieval augmented generation so imagine using a large language model like a chat gpt it's very knowledgeable it can answer all your questions it can answer all your questions but the challenge is it was trained on the website data it was trained on the open source data but if you ask any question about your proprietary data about your company's documents about your pdfs about your own websites or your google sheets or your one drive datas or your databases will the llm try to respond from those all the answer is no because llm do not inherit or do not have an access to the very specific data so this is where the rag architecture comes into picture here's how it works so rag takes all your document it can be your structured semi structured unstructured data you can see in the image you have all the documents and we try to chunk them into smaller pieces we try to break them into smaller pieces it's called as a chunk and then we store it in the database but this is not a normal database it's a vector database vector database is nothing but a numerical representation it stores the data in a numerical form so we will be going in detail about this rag architect rag architecture we are going to implement it on the open source frameworks we are going to implement it with the databricks and so on so we just chunk them all we convert we take the uh, chunks we convert it to the embeddings and we store them into the vector database when the user tries to query the llm the system retrieves it goes and searches the relevant data from the vector database and it augments it to the llm augments and you can say augments it and feeds into the llm and your llm uses this context the relevant context and tries to generate a response so this is where the retrieval augment to the llm and your llm tries to generate it so this is how the rag architecture is implemented so in our coming videos we are going to do the hands on we are going to look in detail how the rag is implemented in the open source as well as in the databricks so for example imagine a customer support bot 
that is retrieving a specific policy documents to answer the customer queries so that's a rag in action so in future videos i'll promise to go rag in depth and demonstrate it with the hands-on examples so stay tuned so moving further we have a agentic ai now we are going to go deep into the agentic ai so think of an agent that can autonomously handle the complex task while an llm like a chat gpt can assist with the basics basic task you ask a prompt you put a question and your llm tries to respond it but it's not designed to perform a complex task for example i have a lot of emails my calendar is full can you please summarize the calendar can you interact it with any of the external tools can you interact with the apis or can you pull out some real time data no your llm is not capable of doing all this so this is where agentic ai fills the gap so it's an ai system that is capable of planning reasoning and executing the actions for example imagine asking your ai to book the meetings so depending on my calendar can you please book the meeting it can access your private data and it can analyze in real time so you can take an example of the stock market or the stock stock prices that can help you to fetch the real time data your ai agent can work as a researcher can work as a analyst can go back and check the fundamentals of the company go and check the stock prices real time stock prices and see how well your company is performing it goes and check whether the company is in news whether they are in profits it does everything for you so that is where the agentic ai one of the example is there can be many many uh, agentic examples so in coming videos i'll be definitely making a uh, videos in detail on the agentic ai in action like by doing all the hands-on in the open source as well as by using a databricks framework so we have very popular framework that can help you to gen create a uh, agents so few examples are like your crew ai is one of the framework and we have a uh, autogen by microsoft and we have a lang graph from the lang chain that can help you to build the agents to do all this complex task so in 2025 is all about perfecting these ai agents so in upcoming videos i'll create a detailed playlist on how to build a ai agents using these frameworks so i again request you to please stay tuned subscribe to my channel so that's and that's the wrap so today we discussed about generative ai what is rag that is retrieval augmented generation and then we talked about the agentic ai along with the real world applications so these technologies are transforming how we use ai and it's exciting time to learn more about them i have noticed that 80 percent of the viewers have not subscribed to my channel yet if you haven't already please consider subscribing it it doesn't cost you anything but you will get a latest update from my channel if you found this video helpful please give a thumbs up share it with others and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more ai insights see you in the next video bye, -bye.